Question 12. Uh, trig. There was bound to be a big trig question at some point. And here it is. Uh, so let's see how to do part A. Um, so we're trying to show that this can be written like this. You're not trying to show, you're not trying to prove the left hand side equals the right hand side here because it doesn't. You're trying just trying to show you can go from one to the other down here, um, the top to the bottom. So if we start with the whole of this equation, so we've got two sine theta, and then that cot that cot squared, you should know um, you should know that cot one plus cot squared equals cosec squared. Okay, you just need to know that. Similar with one plus tan squared is sec squared, sine squared plus cos squared equals one. So cot squared is cosec squared minus one. So let's replace that with cosec squared, and it's two theta in this question, um, minus one. And we've still got that minus seven, and it still equals minus seven here, and it still equals uh, 13 sec theta. Now sec theta is it's one over cos, isn't it? So we can put that there. All right, so now um, let's, I'm running out of space over there, so let, let's move down here, let's just get rid of that. So if, if we times everything, let's multiply everything by cos theta. Okay, so times everything by cos theta, and we get two sine theta, cos theta, and then multiply that bracket, we get three cosec squared two theta, minus three minus seven is minus 10. And we've just got 13 on the right hand side. All right, now hopefully you spot this, but um, whoops, you might not. It's always worth remembering that sine two theta is two sine theta cos theta. It's very important, comes up a lot. So everything else can stay as it is. Okay, now we need to have all cosec, uh, all cosecs here, all cosec squared. So let's get rid of this, shall we? Let's put that on the other side. So we've got three cosec squared two theta minus 10 is 13 over sine two theta. Now that's good news because when you divide by sine two theta, you can just make it cosec two theta. So this becomes 13 cosec two theta on the right. And you can see we're gonna get what we want here. We just need to get it all to equal zero. So subtract 13 cosec two theta from both sides. And that's it for part A. Part B, there's, um, you can, if you compare the two equations, compare the two equations we're solving in part B, this is exactly the same as this, which is exactly the same as this. So there's nothing funny going on here. We don't need to let theta equal two feet or anything like that. All we need to do is we need to solve um, we just need to solve this. Uh, so you can just, it's just a quadratic in disguise. So if you solve that quadratic, it's just the same as 3x squared minus 13x minus 10 equals zero. But if you solve that quadratic, you should get a cosec two theta is five or minus two thirds. So if you do the reciprocal of both of those, uh, you'll get sine two theta is one fifth, or sine two theta 
is minus 3 over 2. But that's outside the range of sine, because sine is always between minus 1 and plus 1. So that's going to have no solutions. Even if you forget that, try doing inverse sine of that on your calculator. It won't go very well. So that's got no solutions. So 2 theta is inverse sine of 1 fifth. And that is 0.201. Usually three significant figures are all right for these. Maybe you want to do four just before you get to the final answer. Now, whatever you do now, do not divide by two. You only divide by two at the very, 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 very end. You want to use the class diagram now or however you solve these. Uh, so I like to do it like this. And uh, sine is positive. Okay, so we're going to use this one and this one. And this is zero. We're going to go to 0 0.201 here. Reflect it over here. 0 0.201. And that angle there, because we're in radians, that's pi over 2. This is pi. Uh, so if we do pi minus 0 0.201 we'll get that angle whoa whoops it would get that angle up there which is 2.94 something all right and we're going to be outside the range now if we go any further because we only want 0 to pi over 2 so the range is for the range for theta is this so the range for 2 theta which is what we're working out is 0 to pi and you can see we, we're going to end up going past pi if we if we find any more all right so this is this is what 2 theta equals so divide everything by 2 let's move that out of the way so theta this divided by 2 which is going to give us 0 0.101 and this divided by 2 which is 